Important CNC data such as work coordinates, offsets, part programs, and parameters are stored in a type of memory called SRAM. SRAM requires a constant power source to retain its memory. There is a battery mounted on the CNC unit that keeps the SRAM alive while the main power to the control is turned off. When this battery's voltage is critically low, a flashing message of BAT appears on screen near the clock display. Regardless of whether the BAT message is being shown, FANUC recommends the CNC battery be replaced annually. To get to the battery usually requires going into the machine, so let's talk safety. Don't attempt to perform anything discussed in this presentation if you are not both fully qualified to do so and have the equipment owner's permission to do so. Before performing any maintenance, follow all plant safety and lockout procedures. These procedures should include releasing all energies related to the maintenance procedure performed. On LCD mounted 30 series Model B and 0i Model D and F CNCs, the battery is an easily replaced module. The battery plugs into the yellow plastic casing on the back of the LCD and has a latch on it that must be squeezed in order to release it. The battery's location differs slightly depending on the CNC model, but the replacement procedure is the same for all. Before replacing the battery, make sure you have a recent memory backup of the CNC. You shouldn't expect to lose memory replacing the battery, but being prepared is a wise course of action. Turn on the power to the CNC. This will charge a small capacitor that will keep the memory alive while the battery is out. It takes about 30 seconds to fully charge the capacitor. Now turn the power off. Replace the battery with the system de-energized to avoid any potential of electrical shock. The capacitor is designed to keep the memory alive for at least 30 minutes. Work quickly, however, as testing the limits when it involves critical CNC memory is not advised. To remove the battery, grip the latch on its body and pull it away from the CNC unit. Install the new battery by pushing it in until the latch catches on the plastic casing. After you have replaced the battery, power the CNC back up, make sure it still works. It's unlikely, but should you have a system alarm with SRAM in the name, you'll need to restore the CNC memory and you'll be glad you made a backup. Verify that you don't have a battery alarm displayed on the status line by the clock. The battery is lithium. Be sure to dispose of it according to plant policies and environmental regulations. Let us know if we can help. To do that, give us a call at 888-326-8287. For technical support, press 2 for CNC and then 2 again for the service department. To order parts, press 2 for CNC, then 1 and 1 again. Thank you for watching.